MFers, if the wind never blew again, it would be too damn early. It's final day, woke up, wind's blowing 92 again. That's okay though, this is the last hurrah, the last chance we get to get this guy on some giant smallmouth. And we're at the place, um, Zark would be here talking to you guys, but he's selfishly back there tying on the juice in the boat. What is that? We don't throw those. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're, we're last day in, last chance to get a really big smallmouth. We're in trophy smallmouth territory. We hit, we hit this lake in the spring and caught like a 26 pound limit of bed fishing smallmouth. But we got low light conditions today. So I think we're gonna go out and throw some moving baits. We're gonna drag around a little bit too, of course. Um, but hopefully moving baits, top water baits, stuff like that. Uh, hopefully we can find some freaking not white caps, but it's gonna be a fun time. Fighting if you'd like to keep fighting, I guess. Should just flip him, but I think I only got 15. I'm just gonna touch you and let you go, maybe. Might eat you. Oh, big old leather mouth. That's the way to start the day. Four pounder on the old glow blade that's straightened out. Great fish, great start. Sick. Starting out here on a main lake point, biggest main lake point there is. We fished out deep where there was a bunch of perch and walleye or something, a bunch of little stuff pecking at us, but just got up super shallow. That guy was up in probably two feet of water. So shallow might be the way to go with these low light conditions. size variety or the species we're after but I guess a fun little bonus fish on the, the globe loop. Jack, dude. Oh, 
a healthy one. Boom! Dude, these are good ones. Yeah, man, this thing's got big. Look at that. The mouth of a third of a pounder. The body of a 17. Or something. Look at the spikes on the top, dude. Have you guys God. seen the Jurassic World movie? Wait. That's like the oh. end. That's the endo his raptor skin is right there. His, uh... Yeah. That's a mean base, dude. Little three and a half pound guy. So heavy. Chunky. I don't really know. Oh, another one. What the hell is this? Oh my Texas. god. You killed it, dude. You a wall head! Toothy. Wrong species. Watch this one hit the arc with it. Ah, let's get out of here. Okay, just had to say it. Flipping walleyes. First ever. His new PB. Purple tube, holy shnikes. Swallowed it. Dude, that's a football. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah. You think you nice wanted it? Dark. the water.
hell, I'm gonna need the scissors. <laughs> Dude, you should wait till you see inside this fish's mouth. That's like, it's like slugs or something. Yeah. Look at them. They're all leeches. Yeah. Leeches in its mouth. You see them, Joe? It's weird. Once again, stupid wall head. I was wondering because it wasn't fighting. They don't fight? Oh, they fight like shit. They got bigger teeth though. Why are you catching Why are you can we eat them? No, this is another one that got to be 28 inches. Well, catch another one. Okay, I'll catch a bigger one, Casey. Sounds good. in his mouth too. Get away from me. They got leeches in here. Look, he has a, they have sores up there from the leeches. Uh, see that? I've never seen that before. A little smiley. said don't throw black and blue and here's <laughs> Texas boy picking up what he catches them on. That's a real solid one for you man. That is a good one. Hell yeah. <laughs> whoop, whoop. You bet. All right. Do you want a picture of that with the prawn? You should get one. Yeah. Here. I've been flipping my damn D-bomb because it's the only black and blue thing I thought we had on the boat and this guy pulls out this bait purple and back 
This thing's been catching all our fish this trip. The crawl dads, the, the crawl dads, the small moths freaking like this thing. I'm getting rid of my T bomb. I flipped in there 14 times. I didn't get a bite. Damn it, Ronnie! Hey. Just, just sit back. Go sit in the bottom of the boat. Not really. He's 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 been whooping me this whole trip. When you set the hook and you came up and went sideways, it's like oh! I just missed him the cast before and he just you think it's cute because that's cute. Oh yeah. You know guys, all good fishing trips can't be complete without some trials and tribulations. On the way up, we got pulled over. In the middle, we blew out a battery. We couldn't fish till we got it fixed. We happened to be in the middle of nowhere. The way home, we ran out of gas. Five minutes after the gas tank light came on. Low gas tank light, low fuel warning light low fuel. came on. And uh, we, we went through those things together as a team here we are. It's uh, that happened Sunday night. It's Thursday now, so we've been waiting <laughs> around a few few days. We smell a little bit, but all in all, um, it's been a 14-day trip. But I would call it a successful one. It really was, though. We caught some big fish. We put Casey on his biggest smallmouth ever. We accomplished what we set out for, and I think the trip was a success. And it did exactly what you want every adventure to do, and that is you get enough of a taste and have just enough fun to want to come back and do it a lot more it's not too easy you don't catch too many you don't have too much success but you have enough that you have a great time and uh that's what we did truth facts very good time tried out some new baits tried out my new rod zark series good coming time. soon if you guys Zark's didn't catch that um, we're coming out with my melican fishing rod series and since this man right here as you guys saw the last few days is an absolute hammer out there dragging baits around and also pitching baits throwing swim jigs and stuff i thought it would be very fitting that uh i would ask him his exact rod action he would want which happened to be a 7-4 medium heavy to heavy uh and we incorporated that we, we fit it just right into what he was looking for and we surprised him with his very own rod in the Millican Fishing Series, which will be the Zark special rod that is, uh, you liked it? Yeah, it was awesome. Worked out well? Great. Perfect. Cool. Hit it on the nose. Good. So uh, those will be out almost by the time you're watching this. We're only a couple weeks away, guys, so be a, a little bit patient. I've been, I've been talking about them for three, four years now in development <laughs> good things take time but yeah i want to add one more thing i got to come first take off work got a good crew at six cents that's able to uh help me out when i do get to take off which isn't very often um and then for ben who put me on my biggest small mouth of my life and it's not easy to take someone and put them on a 526 is that what it was yeah but over quarter. a five plus pound small mouth and man that's something i'll never forget so I'm fortunate to have him, as you guys know, um, he's as cool off camera as he is on, so um, <laughs> sometimes, unless he runs out of gas in the middle of nowhere, um, and takes about three hours from our lives, but, <laughs> but overall, had a blast, um, I'm ready to come back already, so till next time, Ben, finish her off. Cue the Zark! We can't cue the Zark anymore, it's illegal because of copyright infringement, but we love you, Matt, we'll catch you soon, proud of you.